Good morning, Food Foresters. I'm out here before the sun came up, <laughs> just so I could beat some of the heat. <laughs> We've had a very busy two weeks here. Um, we had, this past weekend, we had Brayden's 15th uh, birthday party. 15, that boy is 15. And, um, oh, I forgot. And, uh, it's still kind of hot for Florida. But, I have noticed that fall is coming early. And the reason I say that is because... Oh, I'm backing out the uh, cart. I got animal feed. The reason I say that is because leaves on my certain trees are starting to fall off. Like, for an example, the mulberry. The mulberry bush or tree. I'll show you. Yeah. Ooh, it's falling fast, too. But... Yeah, fall's coming early. When you become a homesteader, you kind of start paying attention to how your plants act and what they do. And uh, we have more banana blooms popping out now. So I'm hoping they'll produce, we'll be able to harvest like one right there. And then there's another one over by my daughter's window. Now one's huge. This one's a big one, let me show you. It is a very large bloom. It just started opening, or no, it's not open yet. It just fell down and turned red. Yeah, that one's a big one. Donald and I are really super excited about harvesting this weekend we're going to be doing a lot of stuff um don't know if we'll get a chance to video it all because you know ever since him and i got the covid we were actually down for two weeks literally then a few weeks later my youngest daughter caught covid and this was all our first time since the pandemic started so you know avoiding the virus for almost two and a half years i think we did pretty dang good <laughs> i'm just glad it wasn't as bad as it would have been if um oh it's a lot did don unlock this no all right there we go <laughs> but you know we've uh harvested two of our meat rabbits and i have to say for me having rabbit that we raise, not like wild rabbit like you would go hunting. Um, I've had that before. I've had snake, you know, rattlesnake. I've had squirrel, um, alligator tail I've had. But um, for New Zealand, because we have two New Zealand breeders, um, it was actually really good. Even... Laura liked it. It was, it tastes just like chicken. I swear. <laughs> Everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> oh, go figure. Anyway, um, I have, I had to pick up some extra feed. Um, but this weekend we are going to be butchering all of our, anything that can be put into freezer camp. Um, there's plenty of tutorials out there. We've done a couple, um, all, you know, if you, um, we're not just, we're not going to video it anymore only because we've done them a couple. And like I said, there are other YouTubers out there who do a wonderful job detailing what you have to do, how you have to do it. Other homesteaders have done it. You know, it's just part of the process. But I am going to go ahead and get this feed loaded and 
go let my birds out and get them fed too before the sun comes up and then i'm going to show you some more signs that fall is coming early i have a few plants that are producing and they should not be producing right now and at the end of the video i have uh donald going down the water slide during brayden's uh <laughs> birthday party celebration so um and a big shout out to daughter of a ghost town on instagram uh they have uh bounce houses and and the blow-ups that they rent out and we were able to get a slide and an obstacle course from them and the kids had a blast it was awesome totally totally awesome so let me go ahead get this uh, jeep unloaded and i'll show you some other stuff Here's he man and she. Don't eat my flags. Do not eat my flags. Is that why they're all over? I've been fighting pieces. Are you two eating my flags? Why? Why? My flags are there to keep the crows away. Huh? He man, she ra. Don't eat the light. What are you trying to do to me, huh? I don't need you guys eating something. Where, where did that come from? Where? where? Crows again. It's gotta be the crows. Hello, Sarge. Good morning, Sarge. All right, so over here, this is the freezer camp birds, except for Sarge. Sarge is the guard goose. But this is our, Donald calls his food forest three, or mini, I'm sorry, no, mini food forest. Well, over the weekend, um, we wanted to clean up in here and get this other half open and move some things around. Well, we had to stop completely because of that. That is a large tree branch hanging by the vines. 
the vines that are attached to the tree. And so it's right below the area that we have to work. It's just suspended in there, sp suspended in midair. It it's insane to think that that large tree branch is being held up by these stupid creeper vines that we have. Um, we have no idea how to bring that down. Um, we really can't climb these trees. It's up too high. We don't have a ladder. And even if we rented something, we would never be able to get it into this area because it's pretty much like a walkway. I, yeah, we're at a loss of words on this one. Here's another angle. I'm just outside of the uh, stupid uh, crew pen. There it is there. It's just hanging there. I don't know if the camera kind of picks it up or not, but I've had this little crab spider. Every morning, he makes this huge web over one of the walkways into the pen. So, I've been leaving him there. I've just been avoiding the walkway. But, uh, it's a little crab spider. And he's been catching a fly, so I leave him. He's cool. Okay, we are on the mound. Um, some of the changes we're making, I gotta weed, weed out this area here. We're gonna be planting the fall crops here soon. Um, my sage, basil, oregano, that's supposed to be rosemary. Rosemary's not producing, I don't know why. I'm gonna give it a few more weeks. And then I'll probably pull it out and try to plant something else. But they're now doing great. My butternut squash. We've been fighting the boring worms again. I'm probably going to pull this out. Uh, obviously, it's not working. Even though it's producing flowers and everything, the worms are just... The worms are eating it faster than it can grow. So that's going to go. My beautiful butterfly pea is coming back to life after the heat. Um, I got to weed, weed out some of that. We're taking out everything here. Um, the, the swing set garden this year just didn't do what it was supposed to do. I have better results with that one bean bush over here and this new one over here. They're doing great. Uh, we pulled out all the tomatoes. They just didn't make it. Uh, we pulled out the um, potatoes also. Ooh, let me walk around. And then this is Donald's pepper patch. This pepper patch, it's like gone crazy. I mean, we got flowers and peppers everywhere this is one tree this huge donald is just loving it look at all those peppers they're just doing great um over here which is fine by us we'll just harvest them later but they're gorgeous peanuts those are I believe those are tomatillos um, I think that's something too, but, um, yeah, that's peanut there, a peanut there, peanuts back there. It happens, but 
we're going to, we're just going to let this grow for the season for the fall season see what happened next thing we did or i did da, 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 it's finally done our poor pineapple patch <laughs> all those weeds it survived great this one is tangled up with a giant weed but it's producing pups and growing a new stem so i'm just going to keep that weed down to a minimum as possible i don't i'm a, when i started pulling it out the whole thing was coming out so i was like nope i'll just leave it but yep there's our pineapple patch bananas are doing great everywhere here's where we had the um the potatoes we pulled that out we're going to be planting lettuce and bok choy in that i believe and then here is um, we pulled out everything over here. I have moringa planted, so we're leaving that alone. We're going to be planting stuff in here. Got my cranberry hibiscus. This is great to eat in tacos, um, hamburgers, salads, anything you want to put lettuce on, add that. Um, one is, this is a cotton plant. As you know, I like to plant cotton. Um, I grow it mainly for fun. And there's one of the flowers. Oh, and here's a pretty white one. They do turn pink. So, as you can tell, the cotton is also starting to turn. So, out of these little seed pods here, once they get dried up, they'll open up and I'll have cotton. Another way is this huge monstrosity of a bush bushes in two rows this is red sorrel jamaica sorrel it goes by many many names but i noticed let me get in on it see it do you see them right here those are red sorrel buds. So in the next few weeks, they will get bigger and larger and I'll be able to harvest them for Donald's red sorrel. Um, it is the end of August. Technically, they don't produce until late September, early October, when those buds start to come out. So that's another reason why I'm paying attention. Also too, my loquats are producing. Now the loquats will produce flowers for the next year and will have fruit. So as you can tell, all up in there, I just have flowers upon flowers. And here's some right here I can reach. So we're excited about this because with the low quads, um, that's like a, a spring fruit. So if you ever want to trim a loquat you want to do it after it's produced the fruit because then it grows and it gets ready for the next uh for fall when it produces the flowers you'll be able to see how much it produces for the next year um and then right here my mexican sunflowers aren't they pretty i really enjoy the mexican sunflowers my uh Blackberry bush is still producing. <laughs> I'm like, it's like, it's just crazy. Oh, and look here. This is a pigeon pea. This is a nitrogen fixing, but I can see the seed pods starting to form. All up and down the stems. So that's another good sign. So I'll be able to uh, harvest them soon. But yeah, that's 
just a short clip of what's going on and what we've been doing the last couple of weeks and you know it, it's one of those where we know the season's going to start winding down but we're gearing up because I plan on planting the last this is the last weekend in August coming up I plan on planting and seeding almost everything um, for the fall because if fall is coming sooner, then that means I want to get stuff into the ground before the first frost is supposed to hit. Now, technically, they have our first frost in December. I think it's December 28th is the first frost. Um, but like I said, we want to get things done, you know, before before the you know the cold cold weather hits. So. We'll be doing a lot of things. We gotta harvest a lot of the bananas, um, get them in, start them drying. We actually have a banana rack on the roof again. <laughs> I, <laughs> so we can't even see if it's ready to harvest. <laughs> um, but, you know, over the next coming uh, weeks and months here, we're get, gonna get ready to pretty much get the last harvest in. Um, get everything into freezer camp so that way we'll be ready for spring and then go from there and see what we can do and what we want to grow for the next year um, but as I promised here is a video of Donald going down the water slide have fun bye guys remember grow something for your family